We just got to Sangil. It is 11.30 at night. We left Bogota about 13 hours ago. <laughs> the bus was supposed to take six hours, but it ended up taking 12. There was like a traffic jam. It was a miserable bus ride. We're traveling to Sangil, and one of the challenges being vegetarian on the road is that no place has vegetarian food. So just to keep it very real in here, this is what we're eating for dinner. But we're here now. This is our place that we're staying at in San Gil. It's actually quite spacious. Uh, we got our own kitchen and fridge and everything. And this place for the week is only about $20 a night. So it's actually pretty nice. And bedroom. All right, we're gonna go to bed. We are exhausted. Good morning, everybody. We are in the adventure capital of Colombia. San Gil. It's kind of like Queenstown, New Zealand, except it's a fraction of the cost. For our first activities, we will likely be getting very wet, so we're gonna have to put the big camera away and just bring our GoPros. All right, we just got to the area where they're dropping us off, so there's like, it's like an extreme park where they have a bunch of things you can do, so we are here, and we are excited to get going for the day. After a brief hike, we made it to the first challenge of our extreme canyoneering adventure, a four meter cliff jump. You ready for this? Yeah. Next, we continued our hike down the canyon, crossed a cable, and then headed towards our first rappel. How excited are you for this? This seems like a lot of fun. You got this. Be safe. After another short hike, we made it to the next rappel station. This one was much higher. It's 25 meters. It's not that bad. I've done a, we've done rappels longer than that before. Have we? Yeah. Well, I have. Just remember to lean back. That's the big thing. Lean back, keep your feet wide. Now I feel like I officially can check off that bucket list item. We're paddling down a waterfall. We literally were inside the waterfall. <laughs> that was, I'm not gonna lie, scary. I had a few freak out moments when there was when it, there's no wall that you lean your feet on. And so I definitely like was scared, but I did it. Our hike out consisted of a series of steep, shaky ladders. This is crazy. So high up above the water on this ladder. To be honest, the safety equipment was beyond sketchy during this canyoneering adventure. We only paid about $30 per person for the day, so I guess you get what you pay for. On the second ladder, Liz's safety device completely fell off the cable. Despite the questionable state of the gear, I decided to continue to the next stop, the zip line. It was a much longer zip line than we had anticipated, and it crossed over a massive canyon. That was really fun. It was a lot higher than I expected. Mama. One, two, three.
How was it? Good fun. <laughs> the final stop was a giant swing, and it was exactly what it sounds like. This should be fun. Woo! That was unexpectedly scary. <laughs> wow, that was fun. <laughs> It is around lunchtime and it's another day here in San Gil and San Gil um, and we are gonna go check out this market in town. We haven't had a lot of luck with street food so far in Colombia. It isn't usually very vegetarian friendly but we're gonna go see if we can find something. Este, este cosa? Salpicón. Salpicón. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. Entonces, un salpicón. Entonces, sí. Ah, Alright, so we have this thing here that we've seen a lot of people have. It's called salpicón. And it's like a orange juice mixed with pieces of fruit. So, I asked them if they, if you drink it or you eat it, and they said you do both, so. Oh, wow. Hmm. I think I'm getting banana, orange, beef. ¿Qué frutas están aquí? En... Tiene papaya y banana. Papaya? Banana y manzana. Banana y manzana, ok. ¿Quieres? ¿Qué es esto? Es como más dulce. Ah, no. Gracias. They said it has papaya, banana, and apple ah. in it. Mm. It's really good, very sweet, very fresh tasting. Alright guys, we found a place in the stalls. It seemed popular and that's kind of our trick to know where to go. It's bothered with the locals, it's usually pretty good. And they said they could accommodate vegetarian, which is super exciting. Um, so I think we have like a set lunch, I'm guessing. They started us off with a soup, which seems pretty typical here. The set lunches almost always start with soup. And this is a potato soup with garbanzo beans. So we locked out with a vegetarian option for soup today. Oh. I'm a little worried that has meat, honey. Really? Yeah. It tastes meat, honey. Okay, they've assured us many times it doesn't have meat in it. I feel like I'm getting chicken vibes. It has been t almost 20 years since I've had chicken, but I feel like I'm getting some sort of meaty vibes, so I don't think I'm gonna continue eating it, but. We did get our other dish, and it does look vegetarian. Looks like it's got salad, rice, I'm guessing this is some sort of squash. I think this must be cassava here, maybe? Yeah, and then yeah, lentils. Like so, I'm gonna dig into this, get a bite with a little bit of a lot of things, and give it a go. Hmm. Yep, that's very good. We tried this uh, cassava. Is it cassava or is it potato? It's cassava. That is so good. That's like the best cassava I've had. That's amazing. Alright, so all these set lunches here in Colombia also come with juice. It's kind of like juice soup in the meal. And so we got this one. It's one that we haven't had before. I think it kind of tastes a little bit like cane juice. I don't want to ask her what it is, but it kind of tastes like cane juice. That was our cheapest meal, I think. That was 14,000 Colombian pesos, which is about the equivalent of like $3 for both of us. For a meal but that included a soup, a big plate of food, a very filling meal, and juice. We couldn't even finish all the juice because of how filling it was, so wow. Alright guys, 
guys, we just finished checking out this cathedral. It's like right down the road from where we've been staying, but we haven't checked it out yet, so we just went inside. It's also right across from like the Central Park where tons of people just hang out, and there's lots of street food stalls. So I think we're gonna go there and see if we can get a couple of the Colombian sweets. I have a list, literally, of Colombian sweets to try here. And so we're gonna go uh, see if we can get a couple off the list. All right, so we are trying a traditional Colombian dessert. It's called obleas. So it's kind of like a wafer sandwich, and we asked her how she prefers it, uh, what she would recommend, and so she ended up putting arequipe, which is like a caramel made of sweetened condensed milk, jam, and cheese. So like, I was fine up until the cheese. Cheese sounds weird, but we're gonna go with it because that's what a local recommended to us. So let's see how this goes. We'll make sure we get a bite of everything in here. Hmm. It's actually not too bad. I don't love the cheese in there. Like I could probably do without it, but it's not terrible. The wafer, arequipe, and the jam are actually really good. The only thing I'm weird about is the cheese. <laughs> All right, now that we are stuffed, we have come to this park called El Parque Natural El Gallineral. Liz came here yesterday and she said it was really cool. I didn't get a chance to check it out because I was feeling a little off. So we're here today to go check this out. I think we're gonna be able to see some animals, some turtles, and uh, maybe they're tortoises, I'm not sure. Hopefully some birds, too. Tunnel de amor. That was super exciting seeing the Gooties. Um, we're gonna see how close they let us get us. They're kind of skittish, I think. They're like a South American version of a marmot. We'll give you guys some facts overlaid with the footage, I'm sure. But um, yeah, let's go see if they'll let us be friendly with them. Pretty close so far. These rodents with a large head and rump are called acutis. They are often seen in pairs and are in fact monogamous for life. Their diet consists mostly of fruit and seeds, and they play an important role in seed dispersal. All right guys, we're about to cross the Bridge of Love now. We already passed the Tunnel of Love, now the Bridge of Love. It looks like you pass through and you think of a wish. So. You don't have to think of a wish. All right, got it. I was just walking down this path here and suddenly heard a big thing moving in the bushes. It was an iguana that was like this big. Let's see if we can find it. Never seen one that big before. Guys, we weren't able to get on camera, but I just can't believe the difference between my walk yesterday by myself and the walk this time. I saw like no wildlife at all. And then Al I go with Alex and he just has such a good eye. He spots them everywhere. So that's just the stark difference from yesterday. It's hilarious. I just, I am apparently oblivious to my surroundings. He loves it. He loves the camera. Look at that. Should I be worried? 
This is a really cool park. It is so much better than I expected. We saw an iguana, a guti, tortugas, bunnies, dogs, but that's not too uncommon. Anyway, really cool park. Um, highly recommend this if you ever find yourself in the San Kiel. I just ran out of room on the SD cards on the camera, so we'll finish it here. I highly recommend this park if you are in the San Kiel area and you find that you need a break from all these adventurous activities around here, you want to do something more chill, this is a great thing to do.